The group is based at the Center for Environmental Policy at Imperial. The center provides a unique research interface between science and technology and the economic and policy context in which it is developed and applied. Environmental quality research focuses on the link between engineering, science and policy, and its impact to quality of life. The interdisciplinary nature of this research addresses the need to manage environmental resources more sustainably. Although common belief is that excellence in interdisciplinary research comes with excellence in its components, often this is not enough to produce research outputs that are excellent or useful. Keeping in mind the complexity of environmental systems, our research has been focusing on delivering excellence on the links between the disciplines, developing ways that interdisciplinary research can reach its full potential. With a renewed focus on reassessing what the real problems are from a system's perspective, our research focuses on the water-energy food nexus and interdisciplinary, integrated and holistic solutions that have the potential to deliver benefits across different sectors, disciplines and systems with a real potential for taking us a bit closer to sustainability. It is recognized that water problems cannot be solved by quick technical solutions. Solutions to water problems require the consideration of cultural, educational, communication and scientific aspects. Given the increasing political recognition of the importance of water, it is in the area of sustainable freshwater management that a major contribution to avoid solve water related problems, including future conflicts, can be found. Dr. Volvelis is a reader in environmental technology, leader of the Environmental Quality Research Group, director of the Opal Soil Center, and director of RMSC in environmental technology. Professor in Waste Policy and formerly the manager for Waste and Remediation Science at the Environment Agency, Professor Jang Grineau is the co-convener of the Environmental Analysis Option of the MSC. Professor Jane Plant is a leading professor of geochemistry and former chief scientist of the British Geological Survey. Claire is the co-convener of the Water Management Option, formerly the Yorkshire Water Research Fellow at Imperial. Dr. Head is the Natural Sciences Teaching Fellow and co-convener of the Environmental Analysis and Assessment Option of the MSC, former manager of Opal Soil Centre. Both in terms of teaching and research, the group collaborates closely with the Environmental and Water Resources Engineering section of the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. Water technology and management, chemicals in the environment and waste and resources management are the three themes of our research. Effective strategies for pollution control and sustainable management options are being developed for different sectors, including the mining industry, water companies, environmental consultancies and governmental bodies. Research has centered on developing the concepts and conflicting demands of the water-energy food nexus. In this context is the investigation of the benefits of 
Closing the loop with direct reuse of treated wastewater effluent either directly for groundwater charge or drinking water input, or via irrigation in agriculture or cooling water and energy generation. Not only water but also chemicals such as phosphorus, heavy metals or precious metals may be recovered from wastewater treatment and sludge processes, closing the loop in a different way and turning waste from a burden into a resource. An important driver for the work on chemicals and the environment is legislation, most recently the EU Water Framework Directive and also REACH legislation. Environmental pollution is assessed in our work from a catchment perspective, recognizing sources of priority substances such as heavy metals in the context not only of background levels of contamination but also of all other inputs. Work towards sustainability is risk-based, involving risk assessments that deal not only with traditional inputs but also with largely unregulated emerging contaminants such as cosmetics and personal care products. With conventional waste management being insufficient to deliver sustainable resource management, our work has been focusing on a systems approach. It aims to deliver a strong information basis for the whole of the supply chain to the end of product life, and provides opportunities for resource use optimization. Material flow analysis is currently being investigated and developed as a tool to inform resources management and policies. The Opal National Soil Centre is one of five national centres of expertise under the Opal project funded by the Big Lottery. The Opal National Soil and Earthworm Survey was recently included as an example of a science-based education programme and data collection method in the European Atlas of Soil Biodiversity launched by the European Commission's Joint Research Centre in September 2010 as part of the International Year of Biodiversity. The publication includes the first ever threat map covering most EU member states and is likely to be a useful resource for policymakers, researchers and educators. The group delivers high quality research that has been published in some of the top journals in the field. Our research has had major impact on industry, helping to improve environmental practices through rigorous and evidence-based research. Bibliometric data such as the impact factors of the journals where we publish and the H and X for citations to our work, clearly indicate the impact of our research and volume of our research activity. Putting together world-renowned research teams, these collaboration initiatives have increased technological expertise, have helped to bring young talent into the low-carbon economy, and have facilitated closer working relationships between industry and imperial. Dr. Nick Volvelis and Professor Steve K. from Anglian have been directing a very successful partnership between Imperial and Anglian Water. Steve is the manager of innovation at Anglian Water. Also, very recently we have initiated a promising new strategic partnership with Thames Water. In the area of resources management, 
There have been two key collaborative initiatives the last few years, with Anglo-American, one of the world's leading mining companies, and with Veolia Environmental Services, a global waste and resources management provider.